All right, hey guys, how's it going? This is Mark from visualeffectspro.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to compare Element 3D with Cinema 4D. I'm going to import and re-render through Element 3D, this commercial I worked on um, back in 2020. This was for the Premier League and I used Cinema 4D with, um, on a renderer. All right, let's go. All right, so we are in After Effects and I'm gonna show you the final shot first. So you can have a look at the final result because this was rendered in Cinema 4D with Arnold Renderer and composited it with After Effects. So that's the final result. The most of the things that were composited in After Effects was just the smoke that you can see in the light beam, the bird that's flying around, and also there are some dust particles floating in the air. All of those um, stock footage elements were from visualfxpro.com so check that out if you'd like to. So this is the raw render from Cinema 4D. As you can see there are some problems as I did not have enough samples when the render form was rendering it so there are some fireflies on the floor. It's not that noticeable and also this was cut off with the final aspect ratio but as you can see the light beam as well was rendered out from Cinema 4D. I created some fog and just had a very strong light shining towards the statue from above. There was actually a couple of lights to make this look like this. So there's a light coming from slightly behind it and more closer to the camera. All right, and this is done with um, Element 3D. I've imported the object straight from the um, Cinema 4D project file that I had. I also had to remove the background elements because they were rendered with displacement from Arnold. So I wasn't able to bring them in straight away. I copied the position and the anchor point data from Cinema 4D so the lights are shining the right way. But you can already see a little bit of difference. It looks rather more overexposed than in the original Cinema 4D shot. The light beam of course wasn't rendered in Element 3D because you, you can't do that. But you can of course uh, composite some in but it's not going to be as good as from Cinema 4D because Cinema 4D the light actually interacts with the 3D object so it shines through it. That's where you can see some light streaks. I try to recreate that slightly with only just some normal solids. You could also create a new solid and a diffractor noise. You could just use the dynamic and then go to your transform and disable uniform scaling and scale the width a lot so it becomes like streaks. Then you can increase the contrast and increase the brightness. Then you could potentially have this rotated and then pre-compose your light beam and use a track mat, luma mat, so it becomes more of a streak. But of course it's not as accurate as if it was actually interacting with the 3D object. So there's a few things I want to talk about and let's start with the textures. So as you can see the textures in the Element 3D layer are quite clean. I tried to recreate some sort of surface imperfections with the glossy map. But when you go back into the Cinema 4D on a render, then you can see I added a lot more grunge using a curvature map or actually a multiple um, curvature maps to kind of create um, some dirt look, some scratches. Also created a more of a vet look on the um, actual object. You can't specifically do that in Element 3D, but you could potentially create a ambient occlusion map and so you could create a ambient occlusion output for Element 3D and then you could use this to have a luma map on the parts that you want to add scratches to. So for example you could use the black and white data so you only have a, say um, scratches on the arms around here or for example the neck here and you could control this by just curves and um, levels adjustments. The best way would be if you already have the scratches and dust baked into your diffuse texture and all your other textures. So texturing in my opinion is one of the biggest ones that you can't do but if you were to start to create this from scratch from Element 3D you could look at a 3D model that already has dust and scratches already baked into the textures or you could also use Blender to add dust and scratches to your textures and then export those textures out and bring them into Element 3D. But the main point is just if we can do this within only Element 3D and I mean let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions to create um, a curvature map within Element 3D. Now the second big thing in Element 3D I guess in After Effects because you are using the comp lights 
is that they are definitely not as advanced as if you were to use a light in Cinema 4D or you're using your preferred rendering engine's lighting system. The thing is with the After Effects Light that they are not physically based, so you can just change all kinds of settings, but it doesn't mean that you can make it look like it was physically based. So that's kind of the, main, the, the two primary things that I think are quite different with Element 3D. However, Element 3D was designed to composite 3D elements into your uh, live footage shot so it's not specifically designed for creating CG environments however the two are quite similar because you do want to have a lot of those options when compositing 3D into your live footage but this is the first part of comparing Element 3D and Cinema 4D in the next video I'm going to compare compositing with Cinema 4D renders or using Element 3D to composite it um, in After Effects alright thank you Thank you.